State-owned lenders seem to be most impacted here. You know, they're expected to lend more, and people are waiting maybe for something else stimulative that doesn't hurt the banks, right? Yeah, yeah, indeed. We have seen steep losses for Chinese bank stocks in the past few weeks, um, especially after China, uh, Bloomberg reported that top lenders are offering LGFE loans with ultra long maturity. And this week, uh, Bloomberg also reported that the bank, uh, the Chinese government has asked banks to ease terms for property developers, essentially extending their maturity. So we saw as a result about $77 billion in market cap wipe, wiped out from Chinese lenders since a peak in May. And that really shows a loss of confidence in these lenders. And they have huge exposure to both the property sector and LGFEs, which uh, both of which are struggling with debt payments right now. While many global asset managers are shunning China, BlackRock, though, remains overweight when it comes to Chinese stocks. Yeah, it's a, a bit of a standout call from Black uh, BlackRock amid all the pessimism, as you said, towards Chinese stocks. They think investors have priced in, in their words, the very worst uh, case scenario. And the market is over punished. Uh, they also cited uh, as near term catalysts three things, resilient earnings, more potential stimulus and a stabilization in Sino-US tensions. Uh, but to be sure, BlackRock turned overweight on China in February, but that call hasn't been working out very well, as we have seen the MSCI China index plunging into a bear market in recent weeks.